welcome back to the news desk here on culturenetwork.com. See how I did that? Culturenetwork.com. Because that's how we do it. Because we're crazy here. You know what it's like. All right, guys. We're going to talk about toy news this morning. we got a lot of stuff lined up, so let's cut to the chase. And first up, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wave 2 figures now have a f uh, official press release photos coming from Playmates. Uh, now, we've shown some blurry kind of like Bigfoot in the wild looking cell phone, hidden undercover photos, whatever. Uh, some of these that have leaked out already, but now we've got official photos. So we can show you officially that, yes, Dog Pound is a Wave 2 figure. Also, Fish Face is a Wave 2 figure. And we've also got um, Metalhead is a Wave 2 figure. So those three, uh, you can kind of find them now if uh, you know your Walmart's been stocking them. Otherwise, it might take a couple weeks for them to filter out. If you go to Playmates' uh, website and try to look, they just say, you know, coming soon or coming in the fall or whatever. Uh, but they did send out actual press release photos, so we do know that those are legit. Next up, we've got McFarland Toys sending out some photos of work-in-progress prototypes of new Walking Dead figures. And, of course, fan favorite Michonne is in this one. This is the TV version of her. Not the comic book version, but the TV version. They've got a version of her like this, which is full color, so you kind of get an idea. They're also doing, these are bloody uh, black and white. You gotta look them up online, you know. Uh, can't really show you too well in this video uh, up on the screen, but they do a bloody black and white version, uh, her and the zombies. The zombies are also available in full color, uh, but I mean, they're just, you know, dirty black zombies with no arms. They just look like one color pretty much but uh, they do come with arms uh, and I thought that was pretty amazing because she actually cuts the arms off to make them safe for her but they do come with the arms so you can put them on and have them be standard zombies you can play out the scene of her attacking and chopping the arms off I guess uh, whatever uh, and then of course we also have um, the racist guy um, whose name I had Merle Merle Dixon there you go Daryl, th thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Daryl Dixon, of course, is the cool uh, racist guy who actually helps out, and he's kind of nice. And it turns out he's really not that racist. It's just really his brother who's kind of forcing him. Merle, well, here, you're going to get a Merle, so now you can have a punching bag toy because that'll be a lot of fun to have. Now, we've got an official photo from the, I think this was the Dallas Toy Show, showing off the pop vinyl Masters of the Universe figures. And the funny thing is, they sent out a press release, uh, I think two weeks ago, uh, that showed the pop vinyl figures, and they had uh, He-Man, Orko, Skeletor, and Beastman. Well, if you went to the Dallas Toy Show, you saw He-Man, She-Ra, Spikor, Hordak and Skeletor. So we're not sure if this is a revision case wave that they're showing off, if this is a wave two, or if they've just decided that Beastman isn't really all that cool. Maybe Scotty Cash convinced them on, um, you know, it figures when he was ranting about that a couple weeks back. Uh, next up, we got a blank screen. No, there we go. All right, now this one I'm going to have to look at my notes because this is Goran Logan of Super Robot. Shogokin. That's right. I read that in Japanese. That's why I was having problems with it. No, like I, a lot of, you know, it's kind of funny because with a lot of toy lines in your mind, you know, you see them, you might say the name in your head, but you never actually say it out loud. I mean, why would you? You're not staying in the stores going, oh, milk, saying it loud while you're putting it in your cart, you know? So you look at toys and, you, oh yeah, Super Robot, whatever. You don't think about it. But then now that I have to say it in front of people, Super Robot, Chogokin. Chogokin. Um, so anyway, Gurren Lagon. Um, he's a part of a new system that they're doing called Crossover Joint System. Um, it's going to have interchangeable hands, interchangeable face parts. Uh, it'll have wings. It'll have drills you can put on the right and left arms. But there's also another accessory sold separately that will interface with this bad boy called the Drill Set of Manliness. And just based off the name alone, I think I want one. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, for guys who are fans of the Super Robot Chicken Nugget, whatever, uh, there's a new toy for you. Uh, Diamond Select Toys showing off this new Enterprise that they are going to be releasing. This is the 1701B. 
this Enterprise is uh, the one from the beginning of Star Trek Generations when uh, Harriman takes over as captain. Uh, and they say the final version will have, uh, you know, flashing lights. They'll have some sound effects. They're going to get Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off to come back and record some voiceovers. Or, I don't know, maybe they got some stuff of him in the can. I'm not sure. But anyway, his voice is going to be on it. Shatner's voice is going to be on it. Uh, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, they say that this is not final, you know, paint apps and whatever, but it gives you a good idea that it's coming and it's another enterprise. So, you know, that you probably want it. Now, we got some new Masterpiece Transformers coming out. And this one they're just calling Black Convoy, um, which, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that Nemesis Prime? Isn't the Black Optimus Prime actually Nemesis Prime? Do they not call him that in Japan, maybe? And they just call him Black Convoy? Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works out. But anyway, he's coming. Uh, and he is not going to be cheap. He is going to be $159.99 imported. Um, and to note, um, he is being listed as Masterpiece 10B. So 10 was an Optimus Prime. Now they're just doing, you know, basically the Black Decepticon version of him. Uh, and so they're just making it 10B instead of giving it a whole new number uh, and spot in the, uh, you know, lineup. Uh, we are getting cassettes for Soundwave. These are $59.99 for the two cassettes, but they fit perfectly in the Masterpiece Soundwave. Uh, let's see, first up we got Rumble and Ravage. Uh, Rumble, it looks like, has arm attachments so he can do that dish, 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 dish thing on the ground. You know that thing. You know that thing. You know what I'm talking about. The dish, dish. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and then, of course, we got Ravage. And because it is that 25th anniversary uh, base that they're you know basing the masterpiece off of, he can have the two cassettes in there. So you buy the cassette two-pack, they both fit in there, and there you go. Uh, there's also another two-pack coming out. This one is Frenzy and... Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is the other bird that looks just like Laserbeak. Uh, and Frenzy is also going to come with the big douche, 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 douche things. Uh, so you're going to be able to do that with him as well. Uh, and apparently, side note, um, Buzzsaw is the one that actually shipped with the original G1 Soundwave, not Laserbeak. Everyone thinks Laserbeak because he's all over the cartoon, but it was actually Buzzsaw in the box. I didn't remember that, but there you go. Um, and then they're doing Fortress... Maximus. Now, this Fortress Maximus is pretty spectacular. Uh, he's going to be huge. He's got the two different modes that you can put him in. The what they call it, like the attack fort mode, and then there's like the Metropolis City mode, whatever. Um, but he's going to cost you. You want to buy that Fortress Maximus? Uh, starting price is three hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. So he is super pricey. Uh, the uh, Big Bad Toy Store is doing a special offer. If you want to pay like an extra, I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that, you can get like the airdrop version shipped to you super fast so you can get it right away. Uh, but again, you're already paying $329.99 for this guy. Do you really want to pay extra just to get him right away super quick? Up to you. Uh, might be worth it if you're a super fan, but it is a nice looking figure. I got to give it that. All right, guys, uh, I want to point out, though, I did have someone contact me and say that Pop Culture Network in my email address was spelled wrong. I've been using it for six months. I've been using this contact screen. No one ever noticed, so I never bothered to fix it. Well, now it's fixed. I also have the Twitter account for Pop Culture Network. I had my personal one listed, but I'm listing theirs as well because it kind of makes sense that this is for Pop Culture Network. I should probably have their Twitter on there as well. But those are ways you can contact us. 24-hour voicemail line, email, Twitter, Facebook, uh, or just come to our website at popculturenetwork.com. We'd love to have you there. You can come to join the forums, and you can join the forums because uh, that's a good time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.